Welcome back to Maros Films and thank you guys for following all my crazy ideas. Today I prepared a little Lightroom tutorial on how to take photos with your drone and also announced the winner of this landing gear. There is also a new giveaway in the end of this video worth checking. And I have to tell you that I didn't cover any single tiny part of photography and drone, so you will have to know something and maybe check all my videos before this video so you can learn something. And there is no an universal way to edit your photos, so this is my way and let's get started. So let's start with the settings on your drone. For this purpose I'm using the DJI Mavic Pro. On the flight mode select tripod mode to make the drone even more stable. Then press the camera setting button located under the record button. Select manual mode, setting your ISO at the lowest to avoid noise in the image and select your desired shutter speed when taking photos with the right scroll knob on the controller. Select the photo settings and select single shot. I have to pause now the screen. When using auto exposure bracketing the whole thing is made easier cause the Mavic takes 5 different exposures but through the 5 pictures that it takes it changes also the ISO sensitivity degrading the picture. So better to take 5 shots right one to another exposing manually with the shutter knob. For the image ratio 16 by 9 if you wanna make wider panoramas. For the image format I always use JPEG plus RAW. RAW for heavier editing and JPEG if you want to share the picture immediately on the social networks. I leave the out white balance on because the RAW photo has all the informations and you can change the white balance in post later on. And for the style I aim 0, minus 1, minus 1. As for the color I go for cine like this. It gives me a desaturated look to work easy in post. On the settings menu turn on your Instagram to have an idea how the image is exposed. Selecting the portrait mode the cam of the Mavic will flip 90 degrees to make perfect shots for Instagram stories. Turn on the overexposure warning to get the best exposure possible. The lines tells you what is overexposed. Put a GERD so your framing will be better. And I always like to have a center cross showing me the center of the screen. And also tap to focus before you take the shot and press the shutter button. Take your single shot or more than 3 different exposure shots one next to another. After that import your photos in Lightroom. If you have made multiple exposures after importing, select the different exposed pictures. Right click and select Photo Merge HDR. This will merge all your photos in one, making a better high dynamic range image. You can the ghost a little if the drone have moved a little during the shots. Press merge after that. If you took only one raw photo, just double click on it and start developing. I will use the merged images because they give me more room to play. First of all straight up the horizon. We will work on two sides of the picture, the upper sky and the cityscape below. First of all I will select the brush and paint the lower part of the image to brighten up the cityscape. You can also use the graduated filter but I'm more precise on doing it with the brush. So let's paint the cityscape below. So I raised up the exposure brought up the shadows, lowered the highlights, leveled up the contrast and lowered the blacks to get rid of some noise in the shadows. So I raised the clarity and the haze to get a clear and more crisp image. Raised up a little more the sharpness and tweaked all the effects to get the right taste out of it. Then I selected another brush and started to paint the upper part of the sky and the sun. So I lowered the exposure and the shadows, raised a little the whites, raised the clarity, messed up with the decays and saturation to get a little punch on the sun and brought up the sharpness and warmed up the temperature and tweaked a little all the effects on my taste. After that I started tweaking the whole image bringing down the highlights, rising up the shadows and the whites with the blacks down and raised the clarity, vibrance and saturation of the whole image made a slight curve on the tone curve bar. I made also a slight correction on red and orange, a little masking of the sharpening, removed the noise that appeared after raising the shadows and dehazed the whole image but just a little more. After that I played a little more with the white balance because I wanted a cool cold morning look with some adjustment on the curve and saturation. 
Bonus tip, the HSL tab really makes easy to change or pop each color, and change the luminance, saturation and hue. So there you go, morning shots and middle of the day shots examples edited in the same way ready for your Instagram to be posted. And they look really cool. And to finish in style I'm giving away this PGI Tech landing gear LED lights for the Mavic Pro that I made a review right up here. The rules, only subscribe users that comment down below and like this video will have the chance to win this PGI Tech landing gear LED lights. The giveaway will end up Friday 13, yeah October Friday 13 and the giveaway winner will be announced in the description of this video and also in one of my next videos. Thank you for watching, have a nice day and see you the next one, bye!